So let's get started. Uh, we want to review real quick the types of angles. So yesterday we talked about there's acute angles, which are less than 90 degrees, obtuse angles, which are greater than 90 degrees, right angles, which are exactly equal to 90 degrees. Um, the reflex angle is the angle on the outside of the angle. So like this would be my obtuse angle. The reflex angle will be on the outside of it. And then straight angles, which are straight lines, which are half of a circle, and are 180 degrees. So those are our types of angles. Then we looked at um, supplementary angles, and so those are angles that are up to 180. And we looked at the relationship. We said um, there's it's a straight line angle that we we know equals 180. We just split it up into smaller angles, um, and then we can use that to find missing measurements. And we did that together as a class. Then we looked at um, complementary angles, and those are angles that equal 90 degrees. Okay, so there's two angles equal 90 degrees, and we can also use these to find our missing angles. We went over that in class. Uh, a few, only a few of our classes got to this, so I'm going to talk about this very quickly. Um, it says find the complement and the supplement of each angle. So I'm going to do the first one with you. So angle A, the complement would be what angle does it have to have to equal 90 degrees for the complement? So if this angle is 62, what does this angle have to be? So what we did, the classes that were able to do this, we said that the complement was equal to 100, or 90 degrees minus the 62 we had. That means that this missing angle has to be a 28, 28 degree angle. So it had to be 28 degrees. Okay, so our missing angle for the complement is 28 degrees. The supplement, um, would be, well, what angle do I need to use to make this be um, 180 degrees? So for the supplement, it's the same thing. We get the same picture. Um, we're just going to say, well, what angle gives me 180 degrees? So if I draw it out this way, what's that going to be? Well, to find the supplement, we're going to do 180, take away that 62 degrees. And we see that the supplement, oh, zero, six, two. We said the supplementary angle for this would be, um, I'm trying to think, 118 degrees, so 118 degrees. So that's what that missing angle would be. This angle right here has to be 118 degrees um, for the picture, okay? So take a second, I'm gonna pause the video, and I want you guys to find the complement and the supplement to B and C, just to make sure we're all aware of this. I'm gonna pause this and we'll come right back to it. Okay, so what we see is that um, for this example B, this complement was 63 degrees, because 63 and 27 would give me a 90 degree angle. The supplement was 153 degrees, because 153 and 27 would give me a 180 degree angle. Um, for C, the complement was 46 degrees, and the supplement was 136 degrees. You all need to be able to do that. So that takes us on to some other very important angle relationships. So let's look at these other angle relationships. So our first one is adjacent angles. Adjacent angles are two angles in the same plane that have a common side and a common vertex, but no common interior points. So basically, all that means is adjacent angles are angles that are side by side. So they have a common side and a common vertex. So for example, let me highlight some adjacent angles for you. So like LPK is adjacent to KPT. It's also adjacent to MPL. Those are adjacent angles, okay? Another set of adjacent angles, um, we could do BPM and MPL. Those are adjacent angles. So adjacent angles are basically angles that are side by side. Okay, a linear pair are two angles that have a common side and the same vertex and their other side point in opposite directions. So basically a linear pair is supplementary angles, okay? So when we say, see the word linear, we've talked about this, um, we think of a straight line. So essentially we're talking about supplementary angles here. So we're talking about a straight line, um, straight edge angle, and then two angles or three angles that make a linear pair, okay? So that's an example of a linear pair. And then lastly, we have our vertical angles. I really like vertical angles. They're probably my favorite. 
Um, the angles that are opposite of each other and when two lines intersect to form four angles. So it's very important to remember the measure of vertical angles are always equal. So let's look at some vertical angles here. Um, BPN is vertical to LPK and they're equal. So this one would measure what this one would. They have the same measurement. Um, LPM is vertical to T. PN. And um, the last that we have here is KPT is vertical to MPB. So we have these vertical angles. The thing is to remember about vertical angles is they're across from each other. I always think it was like little two little bird beaks that are kissing. So it's like little kissing bird beaks. Um, and they're little, uh, the point of the little bird beak is touching and they're kissing and that's a vertical angle. Okay. And the thing is very important to remember is that they are equal. Their measures are equal. So that's gonna help us find some more missing um, angles. So we're gonna try a couple together. I'm gonna try this first one. So it says, um, we can use the angle relationship to find missing angle measurements of the relationship. So example five says, find, we're gonna find X. I want you to find X in example five. Well, the first thing you have to say is, okay, well, what's the relationship between the information I'm given? I'm given this angle C, Q, P, I'm given this angle M, Q, E. All right, they have this relationship together and they are congruent, they're equal, and I know that because they are vertical. So if they are vertical, what I can say is, is that, okay, 9X plus one is equal to 12X minus 20. Those are equal because they're vertical. So then I can say, all right, if I wanna solve this for X, we're gonna still follow our good old steps, they're not going anywhere, please forgive, Oops, forgive, lovely Violet, although she missed dinner. So there's no parentheses, there's no fractions, there's no like terms on the same side, there are variables on both sides. There's a 12X and a 9X. But I'm gonna move the positive 9X with a minus 9X because it is smaller. So I get one equals 3X minus 20. Um, I don't have addition to undo, but I have subtraction to undo. I can do plus 20 plus 20. I do that, I get 21 equals 3x. All right, I have multiplication to undo. So I divide each side by three, I undo multiplication with division. I get my missing um, measurement is x equals seven. So this is x, this is not the actual angle. This is just if I want to find x. If I want to find the actual angle, I need to take seven and plug it in. Now you can plug it into either one. I'm gonna plug it into this one because it's gonna be easier to do nine times seven than it's 12 times seven. So nine times seven is 62, not 62, 63 plus one. So my missing angle is actually 64 degrees. So if MQE is 64 degrees, that means CQP is also 64 degrees. They're both 64 degrees, okay, because they're equal. So we can use the fact that they're vertical. We know they're equal to set them equal to each other and solve. All right, let's try example six. All right, this is another type of angle relationship. So I want you to look and see the relationship we see here. What I see is I see a straight line. And I see it bisected by another line. So I know these are, they're adjacent, but they're also a linear pair. These are a linear pair. So we know they add up to 180 degrees. So what we can say is, okay, 3x plus 18 plus 93 adds up to 180 degrees. I can solve this by saying 18 plus 93. Um, so we do our steps, let me write it down. Please forgive lovely Violet, although she missed dinner. There's no parentheses, there's no fractions, there are like terms. There's 18 and 23, which gives me it's 103 plus 8 is 111. So I get 111. So I have 3x plus 111 equals 180. I'm going to take 111 away from each side. I get 3x equals 79. All right. No, 69. Not 79. 
because we get 89, we get 20, yeah, 69. Sorry, guys. So I get 69. And then I divide each side by 3. X is 23. X is 23. So X is 23. My missing angle is going to be 3 times 23 plus 18. So that's going to give me 69 plus 18. My missing angle is going to be, what's it going to be? 79 and then 87 degrees. My missing angle is 87 degrees. So we can use what we know about either vertical angles or supplementary angles to find missing values. And keep in mind here, we can always check this because 93 and 87 should add up to 180, and they do. If we do 93 plus 87, we get 180. So we know we did that right. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do another practice problem. So this is all in your guided notes, so you guys can use this on your guided notes. Um, again, if you need to write all this down, you're welcome to pause it, rewind it. That's why I know you, some of you guys love the videos. Um, there in class, someone was like, send more videos. We need more videos. So happy to make them for you. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to try example seven by yourself. All right, I'm going to pause the video for just a second. And I want you guys to try this example. Okay, so she have a minute to think about this one. So when we look at this problem, what we see is that we're given some very important information, and that important information is this little symbol right here. The little symbol right here says that these two angles together are adding up to 90 degrees. It says these two angles are complementary. Okay, and that's very important for what we're about to do. So if they're complementary, that means we know that 4x plus 2 and 2x plus 10 adds up to 90 degrees. So what we can do is we can say 4x plus 2 plus 2x plus 10 is going to equal 90 degrees. And now we can just solve this to find x. So we can go through and say that I don't see parentheses, I don't see fractions, but I do see like terms. I see 4x and 2x, which becomes 6x. I see 2 and I see 10, which becomes 12. So I get 6x plus 12 equals 90. I take 12 away from each side. I get 6x equals 78. I'm going to divide each side by 6. I get x equals 13. x equals 13. Okay, so this is not my final answer. This is just x. I need to plug this in to find the missing angles. So the first one, I'm going to say 4 times 13 plus 2. So that's going to be 52 plus 2. So that means this angle equals 54 degrees. Okay, down here I'm going to do 2 times 13 plus 10. It's going to be 26 plus 10. So this is the angle equals 36 degrees. So both of these angles we have found by setting the measurements equal to 90, solving for x, and plugging it back in. But we can always check by saying 54 and 36 adds up to 90, which it does, so we know we did it right. Okay? And the last one, y'all, if it's a word problem like this, I cannot stress this enough. Draw a picture. Do not be lazy. It says, example, it, angle 1 and angle 2 are a linear pair. And angle one and angle three are vertical. So let's start there. So we have this picture here we're going to draw. And I know it's going to kind of look something like this. Because I know there's a linear pair in there. So I've got that linear pair, which basically means it's supplementary. And I've got vertical angles in there. So I'm going to number my angles. So I've got, I'll say, one, two, um, three, and four. Okay, I can do this because it says 1 and 3 are vertical. We check that off. 1 and 3 are vertical. That's right. So it gives us angle 2 is 7x minus 10. And angle 3 is 5x plus 10. Okay. So what I need to do is I need to find x and find angle 1. The cool thing is if I find angle 3, I've also found angle one because they're vertical. So looking at this picture, what I can say is that, hey, 
angle two is not just a linear pair with angle one, it's also a linear pair with angle three. They're both a linear pair. So I can say they're a linear pair, angle two plus angle three add up to 180 degrees. Because basically a linear pair means supplementary, that's all that means. All right, guys? So when I go to do this problem, I say, okay, well, that just means 7x minus 10 and 5x plus 10 equals 180 degrees. Combine like terms 7x and 5x is 12x. Negative 10 and positive 10 cancels out. And this equals 180. We divide each side by 12. 180 divided by 12. I'm going to be lazy and get my calculator. You guys are welcome to use your calculator if you want to on these. I'm fine with that. It's going to be 15. So x is 15, but that does not answer the final question. I need to find angle 1. Well, angle 1 is equal to angle 3. And angle 3 was 5x plus 10. So I'm going to do 5 times 15 plus 10. That's going to give me 75 plus 10. So they give me 85 degrees. So angle one is 85 degrees. We could also see that from there, that angle three would also be, if I erase all this, 85 degrees. It would also be 85 degrees. And then if you wanted to, you could figure out angles two and four by subtracting that from 180. So, after watching this and seeing how I did all this, I know it was a lot, but y'all are going to do great with it. Um, you should be able to answer all of these statements with either I can or sometimes I can. You should definitely be able to identify complementary and supplementary angles. That's pretty easy. These um, and vertical angles, these three should be pretty simple. This is the harder one. This is what's going to take practice. Again, do your practice in the OMS and then try your quiz. Um, if you need any help, let me know.